you can see this is a kind of a little sand dune and uh, this is my trick come all the way down and uh, without without all-wheel drive bike you cannot really go up it doesn't matter if you put a 5000 watt motor on there it's just really hard because because with all-wheel drive your both wheel will be working to climbing up so I'm going to show you right now that I will climbing up right right away See, I'm climbing nothing hard at all. So you can see how deep is that hill. And that's why you want to build an all-wheel drive e-bike. You know, that's that's what I do. I mean, I want to go uh, off-road condition, like a uh, driving a uh, dirt bike. So, yeah, all-wheel drive e-bike is more like a dirt bike. Uh -huh. Like I talked before, if you want to build an all-wheel drive e-bike, it's 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 not really for the city road i mean for the city road you don't really need to build an all-wheel drive even at least you live in uh, like san, san francisco i mean you always up you down you up you down you well in that situation you probably need all-wheel drive because the all-wheel drive will give you a lot of torque to going up so there's a train coming <laughs> uh, so more more likely the all-wheel drive e-bike is like a, it's more like a dirt bike so you want to go dirt road uh, and uh, you know doing something fun outside right uh, you think about even you you have oh there's a deer i don't know if you can see probably too small in the in the video uh, anyway <laughs> So if uh, even though you build like a 5000 watt uh, e-bike, it's still not performant like a dirt bike. Because uh, even you think about if you just drive with one wheel, it, it, it grab on the dirt is just one wheel, and all-wheel drive you grab on dirt with two wheels, so which is much better. So. You you put a five smaller motor and build all-wheel drive e-bike. It's much better than you know you buy a big highway, uh, uh, big motor and put it just on the one wheel. Uh, that's that's big advantage for the all-wheel drive e-bike. And you use a two smaller motor to uh, get much better performance and also uh, very lightweight. It's you know, those motor is it's like a seven pound, eight pound something. You know, you know those car motor. And uh, if you buy a you know bigger uh, direct drive car motor, and each of them probably over twenty pounds, just for the motor. So you save a lot of weight, and you got better performance. And uh, yeah, if you have a uh, if you like uh, you know dirt bike so because this is a more like a dirt bike and you want to go out to the dirt road and you know climbing hill and even jump over little hill <laughs> I'm, I'm too old for that so uh but i still uh, enjoy you know right on the dirt road so yeah that's the thing another thing uh you know uh People always ask why you, uh, you know, compare between the mid drive and the hard motor. Um, basically, 
again if you just want to ride on the city road definitely uh, me drive is much better options uh, because when you use a me drive to uh, build up the e-bag it's uh, it's much lighter weight because think about think about the hot motor so this is the outside there's a big big case it's heavy stuff and if you have a me drive it's you will save a more a more weight on that but uh the the problem with the me drive it's uh it's not easy to install i mean you have to make sure that your back is actually can be installed i mean some back is you know those are the, the the distance the location everything maybe not maybe not fit for you you know uh that's one thing another problem with me drive it's uh it's all drive with the chain so if the chain break basically you you're in trouble or you have to you know carry your bag all the way out i actually have the problem before you know i always drive on the dirt road so those grasses actually goes inside here and block the chain and then finally break it so at that day i was so scared because i'm kind of um, five mile away from the road i mean i farther inside of the woods and uh luckily because the hot motor it doesn't matter you you just don't need to handle the hot motor is still drive you out so that's uh, that's the big things for the mid, mid drive motor so because all depend on your chain so when once your chain broken <laughs> you're in big trouble <laughs> if you're far away from road yeah uh, yeah that's uh, that's another thing with the uh, hot motor so if you use a hot motor you don't you don't need to worry about that even the chain broken you still can drive out uh yeah that's uh, pretty much everything about the hard motor and uh, build a all-wheel drive e-bag and